Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something different, because we're gonna build. <laughs> and if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I do mostly create a sim videos, so this is very much out of my comfort zone. However, when the new pack Tiny Living came out, I was very inspired to build something, and I was also very drawn to the challenge aspect of this pack, like you have to stay within a certain amount of tiles. I really liked that idea, so I really wanted to try it. And since we all know I like to make things difficult for myself, I decided to build a micro home. Don't ask me why I decided to do that, because I have been struggling so much doing this build. I cut a lot of stuff out, because this took me 8 hours to make. A micro home took me eight hours to make. This is why I don't build you guys, it's insane. Either way, I decided to go with a modern interior. I made this decision purely based on the fact that I have done modern homes before and I found those to be the easiest to do. So that's why I went with the modern interior. Um, I built this micro home to explore the tiny living pack, which means that I tried to use as many tiny living items as I could. So I've got the media station, which has like the TV, the music, radio and uh, the books, because that is so useful. And I used the Murphy bed, of course and just a lot of other items from the tiny living pack. As you can see, I struggled so much with the layout and the biggest problem for me was the kitchen. I didn't want to sacrifice a sink in the kitchen for space. Maybe I should have, but I didn't want to because I just can't imagine a kitchen without a sink and having to use a sink in the bathroom. That just doesn't make sense to me. So I needed a counter that the Sims could, you know, prepare their food on and one to add a sink to. Which made things more difficult than they could have been. Anyhow, I found something that worked after a long time. So it's basically how it is right now. Yes. So this is the layout I end up going with. I do change some things around, of course. But... Um, this is where the walls are going to be. And I try to go with a very neutral color palette. So I've got lots of black and white, as you can see. But then I wanted to have some pops of colors. So I added in some blues and some yellows. You know, to make, uh, to make it a little more cozy, I guess. Because I really like black and white. But I'm not sure if I like black, like all black and white. I do like some color. While you watch me struggle, I just wanted to share that I'm very happy that I have found a pair of black heels. And this may sound crazy, but the thing is, I have big feet. So um, in the European size, that would be 43. And I think it's um, it says size 9. I'm not sure if that's UK or US sizing but either way all the shoes in the Netherlands and most of Europe I think go to like up until size 42 and I've got 43 so I always have difficulty finding shoes especially heels <laughs> because I have very difficult uh, like a very weird shape they're they're big and weirdly shaped so I have so much trouble finding shoes However, I went on this website that sells like many different brands and I looked up black heels and they actually had some in my size. So I ordered them and one of them fit. And now I have black heels. The thing is, I had a pair of black boots, heels, <laughs> like boots with heels. I don't know what the name is for that, but 
after years and years, they broke. So I'm so happy I have found something new because it's so difficult to find them, but I'm so happy with them. They have like a asymmetrical strap as well, which I really love. I love asymmetrical. So I'm very happy. With this house, I tried to go for very minimalistic style in the beginning. But uh, while I was progressing, I just added a lot of clutter and I just threw the minimalistic idea out of the window because I like clutter. I wanted to give it a bit more personality. Does that make any sense? You know, I tried to make it a bit more cozy. Anyways, what have you guys been up to? Like, how are you feeling? How are you doing? We haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> I haven't been doing amazing, but I'll be fine, so don't worry. I found out that one of the classes that I failed has a reset and I'm so happy for that because it was a, a training course, behavior training. So I had to go out to a school, find two kids and give them behavior training. And that took so much effort and it took so long. Even though I liked it, I wouldn't want to do it again. <laughs> And I missed the deadline for the report, so I'm very happy I'll be able to hand in the report, even though maybe I'll get a lower grade. I don't mind, I just don't want to do all of those trainings again, because it just, just took so much time. University has been very busy lately. Um, the good thing about this master, the child and adolescent psychology master is that we're finally doing some practical stuff like the bachelor was just reading 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 and more reading and now we finally are doing stuff we're working with kids which i really like but it's also so time consuming like the master is a one-year master but nobody is able to do it in one year because it is like you have the ECs, with like one EC stands for X amount of hours you have to put in. And we, I have like four obligatory courses and they are all 5CC, 5CC, oh my god, look at me making Sims content. <laughs> ECs, but they are like the effort you have to put in, the work you have to put in is way more than the 5EC that you get and the internship that we have to do is also gonna be way, way, way longer than the points that we're gonna get for it. So it's a very difficult master, but I'll get there. In this voiceover, you guys, I have been putting this voiceover off for so long because this video is a, a little less than 20 minutes long, I think. And I have never done a voiceover that long and voiceovers aren't my strongest point. Um, so I have been putting it off for a long time. Then when I finally got the motivation and the courage to do the voiceover, I got sick. <laughs> My voice was like, nope, not today. So I had to postpone it again. And now I only just recovered from the cold I had. And I think my voice is doing okay. At least okay enough for the voiceover. But I am struggling to fill 20 minutes of time with my talking. Because I am not a talking person. I am quite shy, introverted. I don't talk much. And now I have to talk all the time and it's to myself. So um, I, I find this difficult. Please um, give me constructive criticism in the comments about this voiceover because I really want to improve, but um, also be nice. Thank you. <laughs> so here I'm doing the landscaping in front of the house and I was having trouble with it because uh, when I do landscaping, I prefer to do unstructured kind of things. Does that make sense? That's not the right word, so I hope you get me. But in front of the house, I wanted to do something man-made. 
but um, I didn't know how to make it look good. I am way better with nature and plants growing everywhere. And this wasn't just, uh, just wasn't easy for me. Also, I thought I was being a genius by putting stuff on that lamp, the tiny living lamp. Because I didn't read the description of that lamp, which says it's a lamp with storage. And the storage function, like, it, it doesn't clip. Things don't clip to the, um... Do you call it clip? No. I can't think of the right word, but, um, they don't go onto the slots that are supposed to be under that lamp. So, I was just putting some stuff there and I thought I was genius for doing that. Because <laughs> I didn't know that was actually the whole purpose of that lamp. Ah, I'm so smart. Here in the bathroom, I'm also adding uh, quite a lot of clutter. I like to make spaces feel as if they are really lived in. And if you live in a space, you're gonna accumulate stuff and there's gonna be stuff everywhere. So that's why I add a lot of clutter, even though, as I said in the beginning, I wanted to go for a minimalistic look. Also, I had never seen that tree lights that I put in the bathroom I was just scrolling through all the stuff and I found that and I was like what w when did I get this with which pack did it come I don't even remember so I can't tell you <laughs> I'm so sorry but um, I loved that and it really worked in this bathroom in my opinion so I added it um, now I'm starting the outside and I've seen people doing this thing where they add like the the fence thingy and then delete the floor so I wanted to try that out since I had never done that before and I've seen people do it a lot I wasn't even planning on making a garden for this house but <laughs> I couldn't stand the open space behind the house I just can't stand open spaces around the house apparently so I just had to put lots of stuff there in order to fill it up it ended up fitting with the house though because it is very it's it's quite a luxurious micro home there's a lot of stuff in it and quite some expensive modern looking furniture and stuff so that kind of fits the this garden kind of fits the theme when it comes to that but i wasn't supposed to make a garden <laughs> anyway i decided to make like a, a bar like an outside kitchen bar area and I've got a small pool and there is a seating area that I'm gonna make in the corner and I actually ended up really liking it I'm quite proud of it I've been uh, I was trying to make this kitchen work and I didn't know how to this also took me so long but I managed I think the sim that would live in this house um, would have quite a good job to be able to afford everything um, maybe a scientist or an astronaut or something or maybe a doctor maybe a doctor I'm not I, I don't know but something that pays kind of well um, I didn't think the person would be a freelancer because you would have to work at home a lot and the home is small and you know it's fine to work in small spaces but I think you will go a bit crazy if you have to work from such a small space every day, all day. But maybe I'm wrong. I also imagine this person, I think it's a girl. I think she has the uh, party animal trait. At least she likes to throw parties in her backyard. And she really likes having people around. So the backyard is being used a lot. And I put... I haven't done it yet, but I will put some fairy lights in the dining area outside which I really really like when it's dark like you have the fire in the seating area and then you have the fairy lights in the dining area and there's lights in the pool and I just wanted to make everything so cozy and I think I managed to do that like I would love to be in this uh, garden at night I think it looks really good. I hope you think so too. I will add a little gardening area in the garden later as well with some planters and some 
flowers and stuff because with the tiny living pack if you have a tiny home or micro home or whatever you get um, bonuses like you gain relationships relationships faster and you gain skills faster and also plants will grow faster so of course I had to put some planters in here because I wanted the the sim that lives here to make use of that bonus also I did play test the kitchen and the living room inside I haven't play tested everything outside I just it didn't cross my mind to do that so uh, <laughs> I play tested the inside and everything works fine so if you want to play in this house you can because the inside just works perfectly about the Murphy bed by the way um, I have seen multiple people not liking the fact that you can die so easily from the Murphy bed if you think so too there is a mod that disallows the sim to die from the Murphy bed so the Murphy bed can still break and it can be annoying and your sim might not be able to open it sometimes but your sim won't die personally I love this because even though I like some risks in the sims life and stuff you can die so easily from the Murphy bed and I don't want my sim to die just because she couldn't open the Murphy bed so I recommend that mod if you think the same we are actually nearing the end of the video. I never thought I would get there, but we're here. I have put some screenshots at the end of this video, so you can check those out if you want to see like a nice overview of what the house looks like. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I just wanna say this house will be up on the gallery, so you can download it if you want to. My origin ID is SimmingBird, and you can also find it by searching the hashtag SimmingBird. I am also on social media, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and they're all just called SimmingBird. And I just want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!